There's a new show coming out uh, produced by NBC and NFL Films, a television series called Earning It, the NFL's Forward Progress, which I don't believe is about the uh, rescinding of the emphasis of the taunting rule, unfortunately. Uh, fortunately, what it is, it is making sure everybody understands about what's called being called Breaking the Grass Ceiling. It's a groundbreaking new podcast featuring the stories of women in the NFL. It's hosted by the NFL's Senior Director of Diversity and Inclusion, Sam Rappaport, and it is executive produced by Jane Skinner Goodell, a longtime television anchor for 20 years and now at the forefront of the National Football League, as always, back here on The Rich Eisen Show, Jane Skinner Goodell. How are you, Jane? Hey, Rich. Uh, it's not about the taunting rule, but it is produced by a Bears fan. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you uh, know, but, do, do you do don't you... get me in trouble by asking me my opinion <laughs> about last <laughs> night? <laughs> okay, so do you at least uh, turn to who might ever be uh, next to you on the couch or, <laughs> or in that famous Barca lounger that I saw on a Zoom years ago and say, what gives? Does that ever well, happen for you? Let's just say okay. we have a family group text. I grew up in Chicago. Chicago, as mm-hmm. you know, we have a family group text going that um, the commission is on, so he hears it. He hears it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't need to say a word. <laughs> <laughs> you let the rest of the text exchange yeah. kick it up you the know, chain of command. You know command. who is just most savage on the text is my 83-year-old mom, biggest Bears fan you'll ever meet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she she you, can lay it down. Okay. Do Do you want to let us know what she texted to the group last night? Or <laughs> it was we... all clean. It was all clean. Okay. Good. <laughs> very good. It is a family show. Law, but she very loves good. her bears very much. Very so. good. Okay. So let's talk about this pod that dropped, as the kids say today. Uh, why and and what would you like people to know about it? Well, you know, it, it's actually I'm producing a podcast and a TV series, which is going to be on Peacock, which ah. you're familiar with. That's coming in January. Very good. Um, but the idea is it's it's really it's a ton of there's a ton of football in both the podcast and the series, but they're really about change. And so, as you said, I worked in, you know, as a TV reporter for 20 years, and I guess I know a good story or I love a good story. And the concept, if I had told you and Chris five or six years ago that there would be at the Super Bowl 2021, that there would be a female official on the field, there would be two female coaches who are on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Super Bowl winning team, you probably would have looked at me like I had three heads. Mm-hmm. Um, so the pace of change of bringing women into the most male-dominated sport in the world um, has been just so rapid. And within five years' time, there, you know, I think this year there are six full-time female coaches. I think this summer there were 12 in some interns and training camps. And it's remarkable to me. So I really, what I really wanted to do is just kind of chronicle it and talk a lot, really honestly, about how how that idea came about, first of all, and how that change actually happens. You know, you can't just wave a magic wand and say, hey, let's have some diversity and inclusion. There's, you know, it's a lot of challenges, um, but there are a ton of people that we talk to, a, ton, a lot of head coaches, players mm-hmm. who have been very instrumental in the change. And I think people might be surprised to kind of hear the story about how it has all happened and how it's playing out and how it's just beginning. Okay, who'd you have on? Who'd you get uh, to... Uh, as guests well, here and as part of the show. Episode one is Roger Goodell. I've which... heard of him. Okay. <laughs> Good, were, great we booking. Actually, we had to make it episode two. It's kind of like episode one B uh-huh. because he sat with Sam Rappaport, the host, wh- whose idea this all was, by the way. She created the pipeline for women, which is why she's hosting this. And she has, she's fantastic. She played uh, professional women's tackle football. She was a quarterback, so she knows the game uh, better than you, Rich, I might even say. <laughs> so. Well, she is a better athlete. She could run, run, rich, run. Uh, <laughs> run, Sam, run. I like yeah. that. Okay. Um, anyhow, so, but she, he sat with her. It was a 30-minute uh, interview window, and she, he sat with her for two hours. Uh, they talked a ton about football. They talked a ton about the importance of diverse voices and, and how players and coaches and teams, organizations just want to win, mm-hmm. and they don't care what you look like or what gender you are, what ethnicity, race, where you were born, where you came from, if you can help me win and teach me. Um, you know, ways to do that. I'm all in. Um, So we talked to him. We talked to Kevin Stefanski of the Browns, Ron Rivera, Washington football team. Um, Sean McDermott at the Bills is great. Um, You know, his daughter dressed up as a female coach for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Uh, And um, Billie Jean King came on 
which was incredible because she and Bruce Brazarians was on too, and she and Bruce are kind of have a mutual admiration society. Um, and she was fantastic just about talking about how you have to be pragmatic if you want to change something. You know, and somebody says no or stands in your way or doesn't believe in it, move on because you are going to find someone. And in this case, there are men, right, that have to be involved and are involved and are very involved um, and find the ones who want to help you make the change. And you can't waste your time worrying about the ones who don't. Um, and then the last episode, which I don't want to give it away, okay. but we're going to do an all-access pass to the making of the Super Bowl halftime show. It's uh, executive produced by a woman, mm -hmm. and we have a special guest, um, mystery guest, who's mm -hmm. going to take us, be like our halftime historian, kind of take us through the history in audio format okay. of halftime, which will be super fun. Earn and It, again, is the name of this podcast, and then a, a, a five-part series coming to NBC and uh, coming to Peacock in January, which is yeah. good. Okay. And I'm impressed because most people say earning with a G, but Rich, you're so bright that you got it. It's well, earning. Well, it's earning. an apostrophe, Jane. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, you understand what a lead pipe wielding professional broadcaster and host sounds like, you know, so <laughs> you would know that. I mean, it says earning it right here. Um, okay. And so um, what do you want people to know out of this thing? I mean, like literally, because uh, we, we do hear about diversity. We hear about inclusivity. And um, and clearly, you know, as you've called it, it's a male dominated sport. Um, what do you want people to get out of this? I think the most important thing is it's we're not making this is a really big deal for me to, to say we're not making female content for women. We are making content that mm -hmm. is for everyone. You, you know, it's obviously for football fans because we've got head coaches, players, the commission coming on ton of football. But if, even if you're not a football fan, it's really a story. We're talking about a story about change in 2021 um, and how that plays out and, and how you navigate obstacles. It's a story about perseverance, resilience. Uh, you know, Sam is very big on going there and asking the questions. When you're Sarah Thomas, she said to her, what is the worst thing that people have said to you on the field? And they give strategies, which I think is really helpful for, like, think about your kids as they're navigating a world with social media and there's, you know, just negativity out there. And they all give strategies for how do you deal with that and how do you deal with obstacles in your way and, um, you know, be resilient. Um, so I think at the end of the day, it's the lessons that are offered here are for kind of all generations and also for other industries. If there are, you know, other industries out there that are trying to, you know, kind of change the makeup of how they do things and bring in other points of view. It's a pretty interesting experiment that the NFL has done and done brilliantly. It's not without its challenges um, and they're still in the process of it. It's only five years in. So I guess that's a lot that okay. I want people to take from it. But. Well, I mean, I, I, I listened to the first episode, uh, Jane, on the way down uh, to work today. Um, and uh, can you tell Sam Rappaport for me, you know, um, uh, that should I should I be concerned that she wants my host chair? Because, you know, I'm not saying I need to be in charge of diversity and inclusion. You know, it should go both ways. You know what I mean? Like. Because she did, did she Did she make the commissioner cry? Did she pull some sort of, like, you know, Roy Firestone moment on him? She did, did she that didn't happen? didn't mean to, but he did start to cry. <laughs> I think she felt bad. But then, you know, she's like you and I. She's a real broadcaster, and she said, ooh, I think that's a tease. We right. made the commissioner cry. So. Okay, so that actually <laughs> happened All right, in episode one. Very good. Okay, Jane, uh, I really appreciate the time. Good luck with this pod, and people can get it all where, where, where podcasts are required now, and then look in January for the five-part series right here on Peacock, correct? Yeah, Peacock, so. Okay, very Thanks, good. Rich. No, you got it. Uh, anything else I need to know? What's going on? What are you, what are you, guys, what are you guys uh, uh, binge watching? What has the commissioner of the National Football League and his wife been watch, binge watch? Do you have time for that sort of thing? What are you we watching? We rewatch and rewatch mm -hmm. and rewatch mm -hmm. NFL football games. Are you serious? Come that on. That is the rule in our house. There's no other television allowed. There's no Game of Thrones. There's no There's no <laughs> succession. The commissioner's not watching succession. We have been trying um, a little Ted Lasso, a little okay. succession, just kind of your typical ones. But I'm not kidding you when you know what he's like. It's all football all the time. So okay. as my dad said when Roger asked him if he could marry me, I've prepared her well for this life. Okay, so. very good. <laughs> Jane Skinner Goodell, thanks very much. Um, I look forward for everybody else catching the podcast, Earning It, as I said correctly. Um, it's called uh, Earning It. Go, uh, go get it. We're all podcasts required right now. Thanks for the time. 
Thanks, Rich. You Bye, got Chris. It. You got it. There you go. There's, there's Jane Skinner Goodell right there saying goodbye to you. Well, we we met. We had a great time at the Super Bowl. That's true. In sweet. In, That's true. In Minneapolis. She so. she must not hear your thoughts on Deflategate. <laughs> Clearly. Ever. She must she agree must with me. <laughs> 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 Chris, I'm going to walk here. Shut up, okay? <laughs> Careful. I'm going to walk here. All right. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.